Hey, welcome to another piece uh, to Max's World. I am the host of this gracious show. I also do not know how to do your intro, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, I have Vince Gibson here, the man of music, and we're talking about live music today. What can you tell us about that? Uh, too much to tell you about live music. Um, talking about live music and setup and how it, um, it's just you know, the whole point of, of um, shows are for people to make it think it's easy. It looks good, it sounds good, but to, to make it do that, it takes so much work and so much uh, effort. You know, um, people think that when you do a live show, even a Sunday morning, which I've done so much of at a church, that you walk in, you know, five minutes before you start and everything's ready and it goes perfect. But honestly, um, whether you're doing a live show at a, a bar or just a gig somewhere, or you're doing it at a, at a house of worship, it takes hours. It takes more prep before you even get there. But just talking about like the day of, you got to get there. you got to get there early. Um, we typically, like uh, at a church, for instance, we would start at 1030. I was there by 730 every morning. And the difference is here that everything was already set up. You know, if you're doing an external gig, you've got to set everything up. But you say, well, why in the world did you have to get somewhere three hours early where everything's already set up? Because undoubtedly something's going to go wrong. you got time to fix it. Yep. It's going to go wrong. Um, even in a place where stuff is stationary, like, you know, the sound system stayed the same every week, but um, all the time, a couple weeks ago, we were live streaming a, a service. And uh, we always have a one minute video that goes on before the service starts. We have a producer in the back. And he tells us, you know, one minute, and he called one minute, and as soon as he called it, one of the people standing with me said, my battery just went dead on my, on my wireless phone, on my, my wireless mic. One oh my minute, gosh. dude, we're one minute, and we're going live. <laughs> And so here we go. I rush off the stage. Thank God I knew where some batteries were. Grab some batteries, put them in, and literally we had about 10 seconds before he went. He flashes this little light that shows us we're live. But that's the stuff that you can never, you know, if you if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's that kind of thing. One thing that's so unprofessional, and you see it time and time again, people doing sound check. They're supposed to start at 9 o'clock and at 8.55 they're doing a sound check. For me, nothing's worse. You know, if it's a nine o'clock show, by 8.30, 8.35, I want to I want, I want, want to say to the band, we've already done a sound check. We shouldn't need to rehearse in that situation. We'll probably play together enough. Yeah. Sound is on, monitors are on, we're ready to go. And push the mute button, let's get a Coke, and let's wait until it actually starts. But it takes a ton of effort to pull something off and pull it off with excellence. And you always know. You yeah. always know. That's good. Um, how, how often would you say, um, like we're talking about Sunday mornings, how often would you say something went catastrophically wrong, yet it still limped through and everyone was like, oh, that sounded great. Honestly, uh, and we have really good equipment, um, and we do, we have, we have expensive, really good equipment. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you probably, you know, you might get two weeks in a row where things are perfect, and you're like, man, something, the system's clicking. But then the last two months of Sundays of the month are just one to totally crash. So I would say, um, probably 35 to 50% of the time. And that, that don't sound like a lot, but for, for, that'll drive you crazy musician, as a musician. Um, the good news is, if you come early and you don't wait to the last second, a lot of those things will go wrong beforehand. Sometimes they won't. But 35, 50% of the time, you can pretty well say when you come in there and start setting up, something won't be where it was last week. Something will have failed. Something won't be set up right. Something won't be in the right place. Something is massively miswired. The, the demons are wiring. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Nobody's in there all week but something's not wired right. That's the secret of being there early. Sometimes, again, you can't help it. Yeah. You can't help so it. I get there early and prep for it. Yeah. little known secret is that... Um, Cables of all sorts have legs, and they love to oh, run. Oh, and, and little little ghosts come in at night and unplug and plug stuff. You'll 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 have your board, you'll have your stuff set. It's always been set, and all of a sudden, you'll come in and nothing will work. I've, I've <laughs> experienced with you and your father before, where something's not working, and and like you'll bust your brain trying to find it, and it's one stupid cord that's unplugged, and you don't have that unplugged. It's somewhere you wouldn't even look, or even a bad cord. That's the stuff that drives you crazy. A cord goes bad. You can't visually see it. You can't see it. You're unplugging everything, going crazy, and sometimes you just troubleshoot and troubleshoot until you're you're fried. And finally, at the last second, you're like, it's the stupid one little stupid cord. Yeah. It happens. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Yeah. Well, Vince, thank you for coming and talking. It's sure. Good. It's good to have some conversation with you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Hopefully, we shared some information for other people to learn from. All right. Love it, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks. I'll see you later. Uh-huh.